Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the Political Brown Kid here, and I'm back again. And this time what I want to point out is something. I've made this observation a few years ago, but of course I just recently started, you know, kind of posting things online. And I'm just kind of getting around to it, especially since after I had a outing with a young female yesterday. So yeah, I had a little outing. We'll see how this one goes. But um, the, the point that I want to make in this video is, and I'm going to kind of illustrate it, it's how black men and black women have been moving in different directions mentally, philosophically, for quite some time. And that is a part of the big um, divide in the relationships. Um, and I'm going to kind of get ready to break that down. And there's one very component that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about a few components here, but it's one component I'm going to try and save it for the end. But the first component is just as far as for a mindset, it's um, if you find, I think men in general, this isn't just specific to um, blacks. It's This is just men in general. Men in general are more tolerant and easygoing. Now, we have short patiences. Being tolerant of something and being and having patience is two totally different things because I'll admit my patience is, you know, short. I know a lot of men, we have quick patience. But when it comes to kind of like being in relationships and things of that nature, we're a little bit more easygoing um, that, that I've noticed, you know, men in general, just speaking in generalities. Um, women, not so much. And... Um, I'm bringing it up to say this is because when you look at like sometimes in relationships, you know, women and what I've been finding out lately is that women are just walking away and giving up quickly. They don't like like they may find one. You may get into like one little disagreement, one little argument, and they're like, OK, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm moving on. And they just go on about and you just kind of like, wow, you just you're done. Really? You know, we just had one disagreement. What like we came to blows. It wasn't like a big deal. But they're just walking away, and I guess maybe they have a lot of options, and they, they can afford to do that. But the but the other critical point that I'm kind of bringing up, and the reason why I'm bringing up that, that kind of patience and tolerance is because the one component that I'm going to talk about is um, just... I'm dealing with you're dealing with a lot of combativeness when we, when you talk about mindset of individuals how we're moving in different philosophical realms the mindset of a lot of women today and I don't know whether it's because of education whether it's because you're well traveled or this that you know knowledgeable more knowledgeable than probably what you were maybe in the 70s and 60s I have no idea but you're finding this a lot more combativeness with women and what I mean by that I mean more so verbal combativeness, verbal know-it-allness, and just wanting to tell you everything and what you like. They, they, more or less, it's kind of like with men you typically do. Because one thing, I, as an example, one thing I hate for another man to do to me is to give me unsolicited advice. Like if I come outside, if I say, "Man, man, I was cold yesterday. Man, it was real cold in my house." I'm just making a general statement. I don't need you to come back at me with, well, what you set your temperature on, what you need to do and what you should do. I don't need that. And that was kind of one of my experience with the young lady that I went out with yesterday. Everything I just mentioned, I wasn't mentioning things for her advice. I was just mentioning certain things because it was like, okay, this was an experience that happened to me. And before I can even finish the sentence, she's like, well, did you put oil in your car? Did you put your gas, what you, what you should do, and what you need? And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, the gas is in the car. Or like, you know, it could just be with anything. Everything I kind of just brought up, she just had an answer for everything. And it was just kind of like, wow. You know, So, and I kind of just brushed it off, you know, and I brushed things off. And that, that's, again, with the tolerance thing, because, again, with men, we don't have as many options as women. So we have to be a little bit more tolerant in dealing with certain particular behaviors. But then on the flip side, when she's talking and she brought up a point and I kind of deviated from the conversation, she made it a point to let me know, hey, look, I'm not finished talking. Um, you you just digress from the from the topic. I need to finish what I was talking about. So I was just like, okay, you know, and I was kind of a little bit, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I kind of did do that, but at the same time, it's just the tone, you know, she, you know, everything she knew, and you know, she just wanted to give advice on every single thing, and then, 
it was just kind of at some point in time it was just kind of like wow is this how you know and, and you know i'm kind of contemplating like do I want, would i want to be in a long-term relationship with this person because she's you know she's checking off all the other boxes you know and if she's feeling me i'm kind of feeling her but but just this one thing would i be able to you know long term would we be butting heads in the future so that's just one thing but the bigger thing that i wanted to talk about is when i say that we're moving in different directions and this is really specific to um black people we're moving in different directions mentally is really what i mean as, as far as our politics are concerned when you look at the politics of black males versus black females you'll see a lot of black males and even me included we're steering more towards centrism and even light conservatism you know more so on that realm we're steering more so in the middle or pushing the round back to the right like you know more conservative values whereas black women they are very far left very far liberal the black women that you're going to find that are going to be more centrist and or more on the right like as far as being conservative you're going to see those women as candace owens they're checking for white men they're with white men now when you look to the but then the rest of us you know as a as a male because we're looking at this world and we're saying like hold up certain things don't jive with us like certain things like you'll see the typical male, we have the typical, the typical black male. I shouldn't say typical, but maybe should I say average? A lot of us black males, or should I say a significant amount of black males? So let me be more specific or kind of clean that up because I don't have statistics, but I do know that a significant amount of black males, we think when it comes to LGBTQ, we're thinking more so like Dave Chappelle. We really are. And even I've noticed even a lot of women are kind of thinking that way, too. You've even heard um, um, the famous female, um, you know, Internet comedian come out. She's also a regular comedian, black female. I can't think of her name. Jess Hilarious. She's come out with particular stances and um, positions. But a lot of black males are leaning as far as politics are concerned. We're leaning more towards kind of like Republicans and saying, I can see a lot of their points. But the one thing I can tell you is this. When you're dating a black female and you start bringing up certain if you ever get into the conversation of politics and this goes back to why i brought up the point that black males males period are more tolerant than females you know we have shorter patience but we're more tolerant in terms of relationships is you bring up the fact that maybe either you know um you didn't see you know donald trump had some valid points you bring that up and see what happens. See the smoke come out out of her ears and out of her nostrils. See her eyes turn red. You bring up the fact that you're thinking about voting for a Republican. You bring up the fact that you digress from certain particular politics and, and start expressing like even some slight conservative views. Even though you may vote, you may vote liberal. You may vote liberal, but you may say, hey, look, I see some of these policies over here I totally agree with. You start expressing those opinions and they go ballistic. They see red and then they, like again, they have zero tolerance for it. So they automatically get in their feelings and they're done with you. And I think that that's also what's going on within, you know, the dynamics of black relationships is that the politics are tripping um black couples up as well. And I'm talking specifically more about new couples, you know, people who haven't been together, who are just trying to get together. Those politics are kind of tripping individuals up. Um, Cause again, I, you know, yesterday, you know, when I went out with this young female, I could tell there were certain things when I brought it up, she immediately just shut things down. She didn't want to hear it. She immediately shut things down and she immediately said, I don't have time to deal with stuff like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. And if that's going to be in my life, I don't want it. And so it was just kind of like, wow, you know, not even receptive to even hearing it or even having a friendly conversation where you can agree to disagree. And also, too, you, when you look at the black male, black female dynamic when it comes to politics, remember back in the day, and this is even when, uh, you know, back is going far back as when Obama was running in, in politics. When, when when Democratic candidates lost particular races, you would hear black politicians come out and say, black people 
that's inclusive that's males black males and black females they would come out and say black people didn't come out and vote enough now what you heard in that past election when donald trump won and when you saw those races in georgia and in particular red states black women made it a point to say black women came out and we did what we we carried the democratic party and black males you know were the cause they threw the blame on black male. Now you see that separation. Once again, it's creeped into politics where black males did that. They're responsible. Black females did what we were supposed to do. And so you see that. And, and I've even had females too, you know, in prior relationships back in, you know, going back in the day. I had prior relationships where female told me, you cannot vote, vote Republican. You cannot do it. And the way they said it, they were pretty serious and pretty adamant about doing so. And not even for like moderate Republicans. They were very adamant about, and I'm not even talking like presidential level. I'm talking about mayoral level, um, you know, um, your district or your county levels. They just did not, do not want to see it. They see that R and they, it, it triggers them. And I think that that's also too affecting you know, relationships and blacks, you know, black males and black females getting together. So I just kind of wanted to bring that up. This is the Political Brown Kid. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments in and also hit the like and subscribe button.